The shocking process of manufacturing tomato ketchup. Must see. Think you know how your favorite tomato ketchup is made? Think again. You won't believe the shocking truth behind the manufacturing process of this beloved condiment. We've got this inside scoop on what really goes on into making this deliciously tangy tomato flavor you love. Don't miss out on this must-see video that will change the way you think about your favorite condiment. Let's start! How to Grow Tomatoes As a warm season crop, tomatoes need both a warm and chilly climate. The plants are unable to tolerate both excessive humidity and frost. Additionally, fruit set, color and pigmentation are impacted by light intensity. Unfavorable climatic conditions have a significant impact on the plant. For seed germination, seedling growth, flower and fruit set, and fruit quality, it needs a range of environmental conditions. Plant tissues are negatively impacted by temperature below 100 degrees Celsius and above 380 degrees Celsius, which slows down physiological activity. It does well in temperatures ranging from 100 to 300 degrees Celsius with 21 to 240 degrees Celsius being the ideal range. It is undesirable to have a mean temperature below 160 and above 270 degrees Celsius. The plant thrives in an average monthly temperature range of 21 to 230 degrees Celsius, requires low to medium rainfall and cannot withstand frost prevent prolonged periods of dryness and water stress since these lead to fruit breaking. Dark red-colored fruits develop more quickly when exposed to bright sunlight during fruit set. Tomatoes grow well on the majority of mineral soil types, but they prefer deep, well-drained sandy loams. There should be little sand and good clay in the subsoil, and the top layer of soil should be porous. For a healthy crop, soil depths between 15 and 20 cm work best. In heavy clay soil types, deep tillage can allow for adequate root penetration, allowing for production in these soil types. The tomato is a crop that tolerates a wide pH range to some extent. A pH between 5.5 and 6.8 is ideal. Nonetheless, tomato plants will thrive in more acidic soils if there is sufficient quantity and availability of nutrients. Tomatoes may tolerate 5.5 pH acidic soil to a considerable extent. For tomato growing, soils with the right water holding capacity, aeration, and salt-free conditions are used. Because of this media's high moisture content and nutritional inadequacies, highly high organic matter soils are not advised. To mineral soils, however, the addition of organic matter will always boost production. Tomato Seed Selection during seed production, unhealthy or damaged seeds are thrown away. The seeds that will be sown should be devoid of inert material. Seeds that germinate quickly and have bold, consistent shapes and sizes are chosen for sowing. Hybrid seeds from the F1 generation are better for sowing since they produce homogeneous, early ripening fruit that is resistant to bad weather. When to plant tomatoes? Tomatoes can be grown all year round because they are a day-neutral plant. Three crops are harvested on the northern plains, but the rabi crop fails in areas that have experienced cold. The rabi crop is transplanted in October to November, the karif crop in July, and the zadi crop in February months. The first transplanting takes place on the southern plains, where there is little risk of frost in December or January, and the second in June or July. Depending on the irrigation facilities available, the third is from September to October. Tomato Seed and Sowing Typically, tomato is grown through ridges and furrows, where seedlings are transplanted. When being transplanted, seedlings are made harder by exposure to the elements or by seizing irrigation. 400 to 500 grams of seed per hectare must be used. Thyrum is applied to seeds at a rate of 3 grams per kilogram of seed to prevent the spread of illnesses. The growth and production of tomato were found to be enhanced by seed treatment with b naphtho oxyacetic acid BNOA at 25 and 50 ppm, gibberellic acid GA3 at 5 to 20 ppm, and chlorophenoxyacetic at 10 and 20 ppm. For an autumn-winter crop, 
Seeds are seeded in June or July, and for a spring-summer crop, seeds are sown in November. The seed is sowed on the hills in March or April. The suggested spacing is 75 cm by 60 cm for the autumn-winter crop and 75 cm by 45 cm for the spring-summer crop. Add well-rotted farmyard manure or compost at a rate of 20 to 25 THA while preparing the soil for tomato growing, 75 to 40 to 25 kg, N to P, 205 to K20 per hectare of fertilizer may be applied. Before transplanting, a basal application of half of the nitrogen, full of the phosphorus, and half of the potash may be used. 20 to 30 days after planting, one fourth of nitrogen and one half of potash may be applied. Two months after planting, the leftover amount may be used. How is ketchup produced? It's safe to say that everything involved in the production of ketchup in a factory is done on a huge scale. Consider the procedure in one of Heinz's ketchup factories as an illustration. It is headquartered in the Netherlands and produces an astounding 175,000 tons of ketchup annually. It works out to 1.8 million bottles daily. This calls for large-scale equipment and continuous stage monitoring by qualified personnel. You're on the right track if you picture enormous stainless steel vats, shiny machinery, and heaps of PPE. What then are the components of ketchup? According to Heinz, the complete recipe is one of the best-kept trade secrets in existence. However, it is believed to consist of five essential elements – tomatoes, sugars, vinegar, salt, spices, flavorings, onion, and or garlic are the main components of ketchup. Typically, granulated cane sugar or beetroot sugar is used as a sweetener. Dextrose or liquid sugar in the form of corn syrup or glucose syrup are additional sweeteners. The white vinegar, which is typically 100 grain distilled, aids in keeping the ketchup fresh. Allspice, cassia, cinnamon, cayenne, cloves, pepper, ginger, mustard, and paprika are common spices used to improve tomato flavor. Some producers think that whole spices, as opposed to ground or oil-based spices, produce a better, milder flavor. Premixed or encapsulated spices are used in more contemporary processes. They are easier to use but more expensive. Whatever their shape, spices need to be of the highest caliber. We are aware of the ingredients in the bottle, but how? Let's take a step-by-step -step look at how tomato ketchup is prepared. How to make ketchup in a factory? Huge boxes that weigh approximately 1.2 tons contain the bags of tomato paste when they are delivered to the factory. Something must be transported using a forklift since it weighs more than two grizzly bears. The bag is dumped out of the box and into the appropriately named paste dumper machine to extract all of the paste. This device presses the paste into a metal container using its big rollers. Nothing is wasted and any leftovers on the rollers are rinsed off with water and disposed of with the rest. After adding water, the paste is smoothed out and sent to storage vats where it can be kept until needed. Manufacture of Ketchup The ketchup consistency becomes smoother and thicker after homogenization. It gives all the particles inside of it a consistent, equal size. This is accomplished either mechanically with a high-pressure machine or chemically with starch, xanthan gum, or other thickeners. The ketchup may also go through other procedures including pasteurization to increase shelf life and aeration to remove oxygen. The ketchup measurement. Quality inspection is an essential step in the production of tomato ketchup. Its texture, notably its viscosity, is a crucial sign of this in addition to taste. Ketchup from each batch is placed at the top of the ramp and released before being signed off to measure how far it travels in 10 seconds. Heinz ketchup must move at a maximum speed of 0.028 miles per hour to pass the test. Any quicker and the batch is taken off the market. Ketchup Packaging The sauce is now prepared for automatic bottling, which is carried out using a filling machine. 
Empty bottles are moved in a line and filled by ketchup squirters as they pass underneath filling hats. Each bottle's content is determined by weight. The machine then applies self-adhesive labels to the bottles. The full bottles are packaged and placed by a robot on a pallet that is covered in shrink wrap. So that's it. They're prepared to leave. So enjoy this video with your fries and your favorite ketchup dip. And tell us in the comments, did you like the video? And also subscribe to our channel for more agricultural knowledge.